When we listen to the radio, we never agree on the station. Classic rock. Hip-hop. Pop. Guys, quiet. The one thing we do agree on, we all want an awesome free phone. That's why we switched to MetroPCS. Stop by MetroPCS with the whole family and get four free phones of your choice from brands you love, like Samsung, Motorola, and LG when you switch. MetroPCS. Wireless. Figured out. Coverage not available in some areas. Sales tax not included in phone price. Free phone requires port. Excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. See store for details and terms and conditions. This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the big game hunter, and welcome. Friday, we had an engineering mistake. I want to acknowledge it. It's stupid interview mistakes, and we made a stupid mistake. We had an intro. We had an outro. We didn't have the show in the middle. (laughs) As goofy as that sounds, that's what happens. So I apologize. This is what I intended to give you on Friday. Hope you find it helpful, and I hope you reach out to me through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. And now, let's get going. And I've been doing a series about stupid interview mistakes. And I stumbled into this article that the Reader's Digest uh, published. And it has some hysterical ones. So I thought I would share, the, share them and, um, you know, credit Reader's Digest for this. I, I think it's a very funny piece. So the first one is one person took the edge off by having a beer before walking into the reception. So uh, as someone says, I swear this is true. Someone threw his beer can in the outside trash can before coming into the reception area. Probably not a smart idea, you know? Another person said, uh, reported that a guy once talked during his interview about how an affair cost him his previous job. Probably a little too much information. Now this is a classic. This firm asked prospective job applicants to fill out a questionnaire. There's a line that says, choose one word to summarize your strongest professional attribute. One person wrote, I'm very good at following instructions. Remember one word? I'm very good at following instructions. Okay, another one. Someone blew their nose and lined up to use tissues on the table in front of the interviewer. Not a smart thing to do. Um, Another person misunderstood the work, and in this case, what they did was they were applying for a customer service job, and when asked what uh, he might not like about the job, he said, dealing with people. Obviously, in customer service, that's all you're doing. So another person um, you know, was being interviewed, and he reported that uh, he came with a friend, and the friend you know, wound up sticking their head in the door and asking, how much longer? (laughs) Another uh, instance reported on was, you know, about the job hunter who asked, yeah, tell me about the business. Like, you've never heard of the internet, you can look it up. Another person listed their prison time as a job. And there was an exotic dancer who called herself a customer service representative. You know, it's not exactly a smart move. One person reported that someone ate all the candy from the candy bowl while trying to answer questions. So, yes, they knew it was this person. It was obvious. A person came to an interview. Uh, well, they didn't come to the interview. They sent, uh, this guy sent his sister to interview in his place. Another didn't just do a handshake at the end of the interview. They hugged the interviewer. One person had their prepaid Chinese food, including a fortune cookie with his name and phone number on it. Not smart. Another one put up posters of himself in the company parking lot. This is amazing stuff. One person uh, came to an interview in a cat suit. An applicant announced his candidacy with a singing telegram. Then there was the person who rented a billboard with the, which the hiring manager could see from his office listing his qualifications. One person uh, indicated that his availability was limited because Friday, Saturday, and Sunday was his drinking time. 
One person explained the arrest by stating, we stole a pig, but it was a really small pig. So uh, one person had, a, 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 well, I won't share my own story. I've, I've done that in a previous video, but this one you know, had a spelling error. They didn't spell check the resume. So they, they wrote that advertising is a tough business, which may be why one prospective ad man wrote a cover letter boasting, I'm getting, I'm getting to my goal slowly but surly instead of surely. Then there was the weird person who came in with their cockatoo on the shoulder. Another one forgot to wear dark socks with his suit to the interview, so he cover, colored his ankles with a black felt tip marker. Only men would do that. Then there was the person who started clipping her fingernails while they were speaking. The interviewer, uh, you know, if they were interviewing someone who took a cell phone call and asked me to leave their office while they talked. So the candidates on the phone, they asked the interviewer who's in their office to leave. The candidate who was, uh, who told the interviewer he was fired from his last job for beating up his boss. The candidate said that he, that by crossing the Maryland state line, he was in violation of his probation, but felt the interviewer was worth risking jail time. Then there was the people person, not the numbers person, uh, in the interview for the accounting position. And this is the last one for today. A candidate complained that she was hot. She then said, excuse me, and re removed her socks and then placed them on the interviewer's desk and then continued like everything was okay. You know, when you think that corporate or third-party recruiters are obnoxious or insane. I must in all honesty tell you, I had this experience when I did recruiting of people who just did ridiculous things and tried to treat them like they were completely normal. So understand the other side of this and I'll just simply say, don't clip your fingernails during an interview. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few ways to connect with me. First of all, if you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching from me, email me at jeffaltman at thebiggamehunter.us in the subject line. Put the word coaching. This way I know what it's about. I can get back in touch with you. We'll figure out a time to speak for an introductory conversation so that I learn what your needs are and you can figure out if I'm the right person to help you. Generally, I work with people at a manager level and above, but I do make exceptions from time to time. If you're not at that level and want advice from me, the best way is through JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. There I have curated information that I've developed and others have as well that you can watch, listen to, or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. Again, you can ask me questions through the site. I'd be very happy to answer your questions. I look forward to helping you in either of those two ways. And if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to the show because I love hearing from fans, from listeners who have been helped by the show. And like me on Facebook. The page is facebook.com forward slash nobscoachingadvice.com or look for Jeff Altman, the big game hunter there. Give me five stars, a great review. It helps other people discover the show. And I'll be back tomorrow with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Take care. When we listen to the radio, we never agree on the station. Classic rock. Hip-hop. Pop. Guys, quiet. The one thing we do agree on, we all want an awesome free phone. That's why we switched to MetroPCS. Stop by MetroPCS with the whole family and get four free phones of your choice from brands you love, like Samsung, Motorola, and LG when you switch. MetroPCS. Wireless. Figured out. Coverage not available in some areas. Sales tax not included in phone price. Free phone requires port. Excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. See store for details and terms and conditions. When we listen to the radio, we never agree on the station. Classic rock. Hip-hop. Pop. Guys, quiet. 
the one thing we do agree on, we all want an awesome free phone. That's why we switched to MetroPCS. Stop by MetroPCS with the whole family and get four free phones of your choice from brands you love, like Samsung, Motorola, and LG when you switch. MetroPCS, wireless, figured out. Coverage not available in some areas. Sales tax not included in phone price. Free phone requires port. Excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. See store for details and terms and conditions.